guys welcome you all uh, this is shakti from shakti academy please like our video and share don't forget to subscribe our channel press bell icon so that you could get updated videos of our channel right guys from the beginning of time so from the beginning of the time is the topic of the day right so what are the things we are going to discuss in the beginning of the time is nothing but the origin of the human which means uh, we are going to discuss from the 6 billion years ago right 6 billion years ago to the first century bce right so in this what are the development had happened in the what happened by the humans and how did the people have developed and how did the uh, ancient man okay ancient man have developed into the modern human being all the things we are going to discuss in this chapter right so the first one is introduction as you know that the million years ago the first human like creature had appeared on the earth's surface so after the after the appearing of the first human there were the several forms of the humans emerged and then they become extinct in their social and the economic cultures right so you know that the human beings resembling as originated about before 160,000 years ago, right? 160,000 years ago. So during this long period of this human history, through the people obtained the food by the scavenging or hunting animals and gathering the plants produce and other things and not only they used to get the food or hunting the animals but also the people used to obtain the uh, food by killing the animals. So for killing the animals, sure they should need the tools especially the stone tools for killing and uh, they to have some i don't know whether uh, the uh, communication was happened like especially like a uh, languages were uh, used by the people but they to have some symbols of languages that they used for sharing their communication right so although over the ways of obtaining the food were adopted later and uh, hunting and gathering were being continued by the group of people even today there were the hunters and gatherer societies in some part of the world you could see right so this make us a wonder about their uh, lifestyle in the present day hunter gatherers and uh, other things uh, that make us to uh, wonder right so next one is the excavation sites so in the excavation sites as you know that the first excavation had happened on 24th november 1859 when Charles Darwin on the when the origin of the spices was published and he marked the landmark no you ma he marked the landmark of the study of the evolution all 1250 copies right 1250 copies was the first print were sold out in the same day and the Darwin argued that the human had uh, evolved from the animals in the long time ago so you just see the two pictures I mean these two images were the excavation site and in this one of the uh, uh, the ancient days of bone you could see uh, which was uh, found during the excavation and here the group of people uh, who have uh, who have who are excavating the things for getting the uh, histories right so next one is the human evaluation so in this human evaluation in this human evolution what you have discussed is nothing but so uh, different types of the humans are there as you notice that in the illustration are some of the changes that come about the result of the human evolution right so the story of the human evolution is enormous long and somewhat complicated to discuss so even though there are the many unanswered questions on the new data often led us to the revision and the modification to earlier understandings right so this is how the people are developing as you first you see that Asolophithicus is a totally different from this habilis and this to habilis is totally different from the erectus and this erector is totally different from netherlandus and this uh, netherlandus is totally different from the homo sapien who considered as the present day modern human being right so in this chapter we are going to discuss about the four uh, human beings uh, which means from the development of the ape and Asolophithicus and the homo erectus and the homo sapiens right so ape as you know that ape is the first origin of the human ape was the first origin of the human who were the ancestor of the astrolophithesis and these astrolophithesis were the ancestor of this homo erectus and this homo erectus was the ancestor of homo sapien who were considered as the first day modern being right so now you see the ape 
so ape this is the this this is ape and you just see the skull of the ape is totally different when you see this the jaw will be bigger as well as the teeth will be bigger at the same time they have the little brain i mean they have a smaller brain so comparatively the ape and the australopithecus you could see the totally different in their posture right so you know that this ape is one of the super family of a hominidia right one of the super family of hominidia so what are the hominid is nothing but a group of families monkeys right group of monkeys in a number of ways and they have the larger body and do not have the tail right so this is how the people are differentiating the uh, animals as uh, what humans right and hominid is also one of the group of the monkeys like a chimpanzees bonobos orangutans gorillas and human beings so these apes are usually found in the forest of the western and the central africa and the southeast asia and these apes are distinguished from the monkeys by complete absence of the tail and are present day and upper appendix and by their complex more complex and brain right so next one is australopithecus so so in this australopithecus as you know that here the name how the visually names are given by the scientists to uh, species are derived from the latin and greek word so initially whenever the scientists are keeping the name for exact thing so the names are originated from the latin and the greek so this instance the name australopithecus is nothing but it derived from the latin word astral right latin word astral which means the southern right which means southern and the greek word phthicus phthicus uh, refers ape right so this is how the word australopithecus derived so comparatively you could see that the differentiate will be there with uh, both uh, ape and the australopithecus so here the jaw was a little smaller than its head also you could see the teeth are little smaller than this right so uh, this is how the people of the australopithecus is a collecting of the spices that have they have lived between i mean the from the 4.18 to 2 billion years ago and uh, these australopithecus were the terrestrial bipedal ape like uh, bipedal bipedal is nothing but the uh, animals which used to walk on the four legs and the, it is uh, slightly the brains as well as the other things were slightly larger than the apes who were the consisting the ancestor of the family right so next one is homo erectus so as you know that this homo erectus is the one of the thing uh, which is called as a man so the homo is a word which derived from the latin word which means man right so this homo had furtherly divided into the three types is the first one is homo habilis not on homo habilis so this homo habilis is often considered as the tool maker who introduced the tool to this world and the next one is homo erectus so homo erectus were the upright man not on homo erectus were the upright man and the next one is homo sapiens were the wise or thinking man so the homo is a latin word which means a man and further it has been divided into the three types so homo habilis homo erectus and the homo sapiens right so this homo erectus were been found in found as well as it originated in africa and erosia and regardless here the many group of species were group started living about 1.9 million years ago but as you know that these people used to migrate from one place to another place that's why these people occupied most of the places of the african tropic europe south asia and southeast asia right so uh, next one is the homo sapiens who were consisting as the present day modern human being these homo sapiens are often considered as the wise and thinking man and uh, these homo sapiens are often considered as the modern day human being and uh, these homo sapiens are the modern human being and belongs and uh, it has the several species group of the genus and the homo but as you know that the first name of the homo sapiens was applied in 1758 by the father of modern biological classification corlas sorry Carolus Linnaeus right so Carolus Linnaeus was the considered as the father of modern biological classification and he had been uh, known as the human being of physically resemblance in the primates and uh, who had been uh, traveling from one place to another place and this place is often considered as the organization of this human being right so this is how this is how we are the historians are considering these uh, homo sapiens and the australopithecus in a different ways that the so in the next class we are going to discuss next class we can discuss about this uh, development of their uh, i mean development of these uh, homo sapiens and other humans and uh, whatever their uh, obtain how did the people used to ways of obtaining the food and the uh, modern human beings and other things right 
Yes, thank you.